Hey everyone, thanks for watching again today. On today's blog in the Ancestors Fire, I detailed my journey that I made during one of my meditations uh, to the Arctic. And I met an Inuit man who I found in an igloo near a mountain. Uh, first I met the koala who led me through the forest and as I came out of the forest I saw the mountain covered in snow and I walked over towards the mountain that's when I discovered the igloo and I saw a man sitting inside and before I went in there I noticed outside to the corner of the igloo was a polar bear that was walking towards me and I don't know if the man could sense my apprehension or concern but he came out and told me to not to worry that in the dimension that I was in that the animals were our friend and they would not harm us and that I needed to learn to live like that. So he um, invited me into the igloo and we sat down and before I could say anything he said you know why you're here you don't even need to ask and at this point I don't even think we were actually talking I think we were communicating telepathically with each other. And he went on to explain to me that I had many questions and that I was seeking answers since I was new to my spiritual journey at this time. That I was seeking answers to those questions. And those answers were available in the dimension and with him if I really needed them. But those answers were also available in my own dimension. He said that we've gotten away from what our ancestors did. Our ancestors sought the universe and the earth for answers. And the universe and the earth will provide those answers in whatever dimension you're in. And he said that the answers that I seek, that I'm trying to travel to find, are readily available for me already where I'm at. And after he got done telling me this, and when he was finished, he walked me to the entrance of the igloo and pointed me to the forest and the koala, and I left. And that was the end of my meditation and I've had several people I've met in my meditations and I've always been able to journey back and speak with them and go deeper or further in the questions or the journeys that I had with them but for some reason with the Inuit man of the Arctic I've never been able to journey back to find him I don't know if it was just a one-time meeting with him if it's the fact that he wants me to trust the universe and the earth for the answers and not depend on him for it but um i haven't been able to find him so hopefully one day i'll be able to meet up with him again but i hope he travels safe until then and i just want to reiterate what he told me the wisdom that he had that a lot of times the answers that we're looking for in life are right in front of us a lot of times the answers we go looking for to the questions we have, the people that we seek may not be the right places to go. The universe and the earth has everything we need. It provides for us, takes care of us, and it also has the answers to the questions that we have. We just have to learn how to seek the universe and the earth and find it. Thank you for watching. Please take time to check out my blog. Subscribe for future blog posts as they come out. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you.